Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Battle Cap Vikings is a very small box game by Tasty Minstrel Games, which gives you a rondelle where you're moving your Vikings around. Now, the theme is just pasted on. I don't ever feel like I'm a Viking. I don't ever feel like I'm doing what I should be. But it's okay, because this is a little small, just a filler game. It's not expected to be this grandiose, epic Viking experience. It's a little small game. They threw Vikings on it, which is fine, but just kind of know you're not getting into a Vikings game. It's a Rondell game where you can move one, two, or three pieces, and as you go through, you'll be able to generate resources and turn those resources in for other resources. This is not a great game. I don't think it's expected to be a great game. I don't think it's intended to be a great game. It's a fine little filler that uses Euro mechanics of the Rondell, right? That's what you're getting here. The game is all right. It's, it, it, it's not very good. It's not highly sought after. The theme doesn't come through. There's a whole lot working against it. It's fine. It's something you might pull out on a night, maybe you and your spouse, and you got 15, 20 minutes to burn. You want to play a little small game. This could easily fit that bill. The decisions that you make as you go up the tech tree are interesting. You know, It's about getting that mechanic of turning things in for bigger things that allow you to do other things. It may have a little bit of runaway mechanic where if you get ahead, you probably can stay ahead. I think that's in the game a little bit. Which is fine because it's a short experience, but I, there, there's not really a catch-up mechanism in it other than the fact that when you're moving around, some negative things can occur to you, and I think that's fine. I think what you're getting here is a small package. I'm not excited about it. It's going to be a purge for me. I get so many games. It's so hard to narrow it down. This is when I kind of didn't make the cut. Even though it's a small box, it's very portable, and it has some plus things going for it. That it's a, it's a portable game that's actually a game, where usually you get like a card thing where it's like kind of metagaming, like, like resistance, where the metagaming is really the fun. And this one is actually a Euro experience that's in this little small box. But the, it just didn't live up to what I needed in order to keep it. It has decent experience that you're going to have here. But you know, look to the floor of the game, see if it'll meet your needs. But it isn't one that I'm too high on, so purge for me. There's bottle cap. Vikings, a very small portable box. Probably put this in your cargo pants if you wanted to. There's no way, easy way to open this thing up. I always have to shake it open. They don't have the little clips on it you see on some of the boxes. We'll take a look at the rule book in a few minutes. I bagged up all these little things. So I can just give these out to the players. You're going to get a little wooden ship and some uh, tokens that you'll use. These are fairly nice. You can see it's a very portable game. This will make up your board and these little cardboards. And these will be rearranged randomly so you have a pretty good setup. You can see everything is very, very small. Each player is going to have a player board that they'll be building their city on. It's not cardboard, but just sits on the table and you put chits on it. Uh, you're going to also have some promos that came with mine for a different game. And you're going to have these two that come with a different game. And it's what you're going to have. Everything here is fairly nice. It's very portable. You could really just put this in a pocket and go with it if you wanted to. I don't really have any complaints. It's a very portable game, and it works just great. Here's the rule book. It just kind of folds up like this. If you pull it out and open like a map, it should sit right down. And you read it left to right over through here, and you come back down to the bottom, and you do it like that. Then when you flip it over, you're going to have more information. So let's take a look and see what's included. You're going to have a list of the components and kind of what they do, the number of players set up here. And this is your gameplay. This is really how you kind of play the game through here. You can see there's examples, there's pictures, and then how you win and resolve the Valkyries. Then all this just kind of describes the different actions that you can take in the game and what are available. Rulebook, I found to be very easy to understand. I don't like these things that kind of fold up like this, like a map, but it was made so it would fit right into the box. So good job. So here's going to be the main board of the game. These can be put in any order that you want, and that'll give you some variability when you're playing. There aren't any extras, so you would put all of them there, but that'll be how you set it up. And on your turn, you can move one, two, or three spaces, and you will activate the location. So each of these locations will do something a little bit differently. I'll zoom in so you can see. Here, you get a wood, or uh, for damage, you can get a wood. Here, uh, it will go down or you can get more coins. And that's what you'll be doing is you'll be gaining items as you go around. If you pass the red line here, that would go through here. So if you go past this location, you would take a damage. If you move to a location that somebody else is already there, then you both will take a damage. Who should buy this game? Anybody looking for a portable rondelle game? I think if you're into Vikings, it's pasted on here, but it is here. 
Otherwise, I say this is probably a pass. I think you can find a better game, uh, introductory game. I don't think so. I think that it might be a little bit step up. Could you teach somebody who's willing to learn that might be new to games? Absolutely, it's not that complicated. But there are a few things going on here. You know, we're not talking about Agricola here or Feast for Odin, but I mean, there are a couple of things going on here that new gamers have not seen before. But it could be a family way game. It's probably something you could play with your kids if they played some other games. They would move up on it. But for me, it's going to be a purge. The quality of the game wasn't there enough for me. Decisions weren't what I wanted. I can get this somewhere else at a game that I like better. So purge for me, but not an awful game. Thanks for up. watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.